starts in this in this dressing room, Sam. Yeah. Did you just listen to what I was just yeah, saying? Yeah, I did. I want to see everyone try out there. I don't want to see any arguing. I want to see supporting teammates. We're all a team here. If Johnny cops a goal, George is just as upset, John's just as upset. Think of how you feel every time we concede a goal. Come on, we've been on the losing end all, all the time. We've played 10 games, we've only won one. Let's make it two today. Alex knows the team is in danger of disintegrating. Banyol narrowly beat us last time and a defeat today could be the last straw. Well done, Crank. We go from Italian to Croatian to Australians uh, to uh, Polish. So it's a very mixed club in, in that uh, regard. It's getting a bit rough out there, so let's keep the tempers down. We want to play the ball and we want to win this game. Quang this time, Quang and Tan, instead of running, you can still run at them, you're doing well. But try and push your, the balls through sometimes, so John and Vu can uh, run onto them. All right. Come on, let's go and make sure we win this one. Oh, yeah. You win, you win, and I give it to you. Go, Boo. Come on, Every time I've said something in the past, I've always jinxed the team, so I'll just wait till the end. Better that way. Chippy's 
yourself up. Hold on, boys. 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 Hold on, this boy here, yeah, he's all right as well. This boy here, yeah, too, too, too much of an actor. <laughs> Just lost the words. Uh, we've done everything right. Everything that we were supposed to do. Uh, we scored. Uh, we didn't uh, let them score against us. The only time we've been able to do that. And um, that's pretty good defense for us. I mean, it's getting someone. Too busy. No, I can't. I'm too busy. Aren't you happy? No. Garcia. Garcia. Where's the money? Got Lucy. Why aren't you With happy? With the red card. Thanks, <laughs> Bob. You're a shocker. You're a shocker. Lizzie under 6.15. Next year it's going to be good. A couple of these Turkish boys have been giving me trouble. They give trouble. Get rid of them. I don't know what happened out there. How many are expecting to see a training on Oh, same five. <laughs> the same five. <laughs> the same five. Yeah. Oh, yum! <laughs> Hey, don't get it surprised you've got a full team, you've got 13 players. No, we can't. What do you mean? It can't be true. They're all here. It can't be true. You must have, we must have counted wrong or something. No. Let's go. Stan is worried about discipline. He's quietly called up a couple of under-15 players to replace Sam and Masut. Called City City is going to come. Huh? Called me, Sooty said he was going to come. He didn't ring me up. Yeah. And they wanted to come. And I told him no, there was no room. Mesut called also? He, Mesut was with him. And you said no? Yeah. What for? How are we going to put them all? You struggled to get them all in the cars as it was. Back at Clifton Hill, Sam turns up looking for the team. They want to play, let them come to training. Oh, there's so many of them that don't come to training, and they? Yeah, well, I know that's but he's been away for a week, weeks so. over. So it's what? Oh, he, he's he's there most times. No, he time. hasn't come from our. Oh, rubbish! He was there the other night. What are you talking about? Yeah, this is a good player, though. Oh well, what can I do? I think my license is lost. Your license is lost. Yeah. After the last time you got sent off. Yeah. He's spoken to Stan about it, or...? Oh, he said... He just told me they were lost. Yeah. That's it. What, what feeling do you get? Uh, I want to play, but I can't. I hope I can play today. Told you I'll get you here, Stan. No, the other's the house. See, they come the other way. Yeah. team is suffering another defeat at the hands of the Macedonians, now top of the ladder. Alex is left to ponder Stan's behaviour. The come today and you told him not to come. Yeah, we, how much are we going to fit him in? I couldn't fit two of them in, even one. We should have told him to come, we would have squeezed him oh, in. Oh, yeah, where? Took them all the time to squeeze in what we had. Oh, well, well, look, we ended up bringing him high and he didn't play. I would have left him behind. Well, how do I know he's not going to play until he gets here? That's why you shouldn't say to him, no. 
would have decided who, who was going to play and who was. Yeah, well, I have to worry about getting them here. Kids who was coming to get him in the car. He wanted to come with England. If I had said no to England, just him, well, he wouldn't have come then. You don't know that like I do. <coughs> They don't assimilate. The different nationalities don't assimilate at all. They may, of course, I don't, I don't know when they're out, of course, who they go out with, but I suppose the Turkish kids will go out with them, one another, and, and the Vietnamese kids all hang around together. The Greek kids, well, some of them might hang around, probably, but mainly probably with Greeks, anyhow. So. It seems like Sam doesn't want to play if Masut's not there, and Masut doesn't want to play if Sam's not there. Uh, they just, they really stick together, you know? But that could be a friendship, though. It's a bit of both. They, they've become friends, probably, because they're, they're of their culture. They're friends culture. because they're both Turks. They right. can like, talk Turkish and Just say you go out and you see a Greek person, you speak to a Greek, automatically he becomes your friend. And that's not because you've met him and you, and you know his personality or you like him. It's because he's Greek and he's automatically your friend, any Greek. And it's the same, I think, with the Turks. You met a Turk, automatically you become someone you know. A little friendship forms later. So they can relate very easily. Like they because they've got the language. language. The evening before the last game of the season is also the Vietnamese full moon festival. As darkness falls, a long night of celebrations get underway. Next morning, the Vietnamese boys are due at church. But John Ho is the only one who manages to get out of bed in time. As an aspiring leader in the youth group, this is an important occasion for him. Trong thiếu nhi coi như là có tất cả bốn màu. Nó nó ví dụ như là một cây lúa gì, cái màu nhỏ nhất là màu xanh. Nó tượng trưng cho cây lúa mới bắt đầu mọc. Sau đó là màu xanh đậm hơn. Nên là cây lúa bắt đầu đã từ từ gặn trưởng thành. Sau đó là thành màu vàng coi như là nó cũng tiếp theo là màu xanh đó là nó đang lớn lên chút xíu nữa thì tới cái màu của tôi đang mặc ở đây là màu đỏ nó coi như là một lúa đã trưởng thành rồi nó sẽ ấy ra những hạt lúa khác để cho sau này nó mọc lại mọc tiếp theo bắt đầu từ màu xanh trở lại That's for your mum. Good, yeah. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Give it to your mum. <laughs> Good. All right, now you come in and change. I'm the coach. You're the player. So it's all your change. Come on, Alex. Want to get smart, Alex? You don't want to play something with their mum. Alex is optimistic. The team has managed several wins in the second half of the season, and today we're playing the bottom club. Victory seems certain. <laughs> Sam's hoping his missing ID has turned up. 